Hi dear students, welcome you all to the brilliant group of institution. Here we are going to discuss how can we convert the open chain structure of glucose and fructose into their cyclic structure. Okay, you know glucose with a formula C6H12O6, right? This is what glucose C6H12O6. The glucose molecule we can uh, write in their open chain structure like this. So I'm going to draw the open chain structure of glucose. Okay. So totally, you know, six carbons are there. How to write? Just draw a uh, vertical line. Then we have four horizontal line. Okay. The below one is called CH2OH. The below carbon is called CH2OH. And the right side, if you want to write the cyclic structure, it's compulsory to know the open chain structure of glucose. Okay. So this is called the open chain structure, open chain structure of glucose. Okay. Here the below carbon is CH2OH and this is one carbon. So the one, two, three, four, five, six carbons are there. Here we have OH right, H left. Again, one more OH right, H left. Then opposite, hydrogen right, OH left. Then here again, OH and H. This pattern, all of you listen carefully. Below you have CH2OH, then OH, H, OH, H, H, OH, OH, H. Able to remember? Okay. And the first carbon is CHO. What is CHO functional group is called? Aldehyde. Correct. You know, dear all, the aldehyde, is the major group what are the major group uh, major functional group in this compound you can see aldehyde is there alcohols are there as per the priority order aldehyde is the most priority group so let me write this is number one then number two number three number four and five six clear now so glucose is also known as glucose is also known as aldohexose aldohexose why because glucose contain aldehyde as a major functional group yes right so therefore it's called aldo aldo so generally if a carbohydrate which contain aldehyde as a major group we will call it as aldos if it is contain ketone as a major group we will call ketos all right so uh, glucose is an aldose why it is called hexose because total there are six carbon in the chain therefore it is called aldohexose so glucose is aldohexose now I told you this open chain structure can easily convert it into the cyclic structure. How can we draw the cyclic structure that we are going to discuss in this video. So let, let me draw the cyclic structure all of you carefully listen. You know this is uh, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6 carbon atom. Cyclic structure is formed by the combination of C1 and C5 carbon atom. Okay, the first and fifth carbons are interacting together. The first and fifth carbons are interacting together and making the ring structure. See, the first carbon and the fifth carbons, okay, the first carbon and the fifth carbons are interacting. By the way, they are making a ring structure. Let's see how to draw the ring structure. Carefully, all of you listen. Let me draw the vertical line once again. Okay. Uh, let me draw the four horizontal line. Okay, there are four horizontal line. What do you have below? Below you have CH2OH. Okay, let me rewrite CH2OH. The fifth carbon atom H is there. OH is there. I'm just writing here H because something happened to the OH group. Okay, because fifth carbon and first carbon are interacting, right? So something will happen. So on the fifth carbon, I'm just writing hydrogen. Four, third, second, you can directly write as it is. So hydrogen is there, OH is there, hydrogen, OH, and we have OH, H. And the first carbon also something happened. See, on the, what is the first carbon? CHO group, right? So let me just write, dear students, CHO functional group. Let me write like this, okay? CHO functional group, let me draw like this. C double bond O. Uh, H. You know CHO can be right like that. Okay, CHO group. So the first carbon and fifth carbons are interacting. We are getting such a structure. Not completed. Let's finish. So see uh, the sixth carbon we write uh, the same and fifth carbon only the hydrogen we wrote. Fourth, third, second all are same like that. Okay. And the first carbon is there. The first carbon 
uh, as per the situation hydrogen is there let me write hydrogen you can write either right or left no problem hydrogen is there and this OH can you see this carbon is connected to an OH right this oxygen is making a connection that is the oxygen it's making a connection this is a simple method how to only to understand okay this oxygen on this carbon you can make it a connection with the first carbon with fifth carbon you know this is the first second third fourth fifth and sixth carbon yes or no so the first carbon when interacting with the fifth carbon what all changes are happening the first carbon the oxygen you please write like this the oxygen is making a connection between the first carbon and fifth carbon and one more content is missing here what is the content can you tell me where is this oh group on the fifth carbon atom actually there is an oh group where it is Dear all, this OH group, you please place into first carbon. Now everything is okay. Okay, the OH group which is present on the fifth carbon, you write it on the first carbon. This is the cyclic structure of glucose. Clear everyone? So why it is called the cyclic structure of glucose? Is it cyclic? All the rings are fused up, right? This carbon and this carbon, fifth carbon are interacting. So one of the question, which all carbons are interacting to convert the open chain structure into the cyclic structure of glucose? Your answer is C1 and C5 carbon atom. Clear? Now one more thing, let me tell you, very most important concept. Here, first carbon atom, I told you this hydrogen, you can write either left or right. Correct. So I can draw one more structure here, same like this. Uh, here we have CH2OH. Here no changes, okay, H, O, H, H, uh, H, O, H, here we have O, H, H, all right. On this first carbon atom, hydrogen, you can write left or right. Here I wrote left, so here I'm writing right. So O, H, I want to write left, right. The O, H, I want to specify on the left side. Now, where is the connection? The connection is here, this carbon making a connection here. Only on the first carbon atom, you can change the configuration. Either hydrogen left, OH right, or OH left, hydrogen right. All right. Now, these are the, so when glucose, when converted into the cyclic structure, you're getting two different structure. The first form of this, first cyclic form of this glucose is known as alpha glucose, or we will call alpha D glucose, alpha D glucose alpha d glucose whereas the second form is known as beta d glucose alpha d glucose and beta d glucose right alpha what is meant by alpha d glucose if the oh group on the first carbon atom on the right side it is called alpha form if oh on the left side on first carbon that is called beta form and one more thing the alpha d glucose and beta d glucose together or this system is known as anomers anomers you know what is meant by isomerism Isomerism means compounds having same molecular formula but different something slightly like a structure, right? Here you can see alpha D glucose and beta D glucose, their formula are same, only their difference in the configuration of the first carbon. The first carbon atom OH right is called alpha, the first carbon atom OH left it is called beta. So alpha D glucose and beta D glucose are known as anomers of glucose. Next question, what is this D? You have a confusion, right? What is this D? D represent the configuration. There are two type of configuration that is called D and L configuration. D and L configuration. Let us discuss detail. In the previous question, when we are discussing the uh, glucose molecule, we are drawing one vertical line and four horizontal line. That representation is called Fisher representation. So in Fisher representation, the simplest molecule we can write, this is the one. Yes or no? One vertical, one horizontal. Here let me place CH2OH and CHO. One more. CH2OH and here we have CHO. On this carbon atom, let me place OH right, H left, just opposite. OH left, hydrogen right. Clear? In this formula, dear all, in this formula, 
you please observe the below part how we can assign d and l configuration very simple whenever you get a structure in fisher formula you please look the bottom part bottom part if you have this area in the bottom part you can say it's having d configuration it's having d configuration which area which area we can say that on the carbon atom the below carbon atom if the oh right h left then it is called with the ch2oh that is called d configuration in this below area below area on this carbon atom and ch2oh if the oh group on left side it is called l configuration l configuration all of you let me explain once again this is the glucose right this is the glucose open chain structure all of you see the bottom part of the glucose which is the bottom part of the glucose this is the bottom part of the glucose on this carbon atom oh is right side so it's d configuration right therefore it is known as d glucose okay d glucose when it become l glucose oh left side clear everyone so ma ma mainly this d glucose one so d form represent a configuration a arrangement where the below part which the carbon oh right side h left side is called d if oh left side l clear everyone now one more concept one more concept when you consider glucose molecule the open chain structure we draw like this a vertical line and four horizontal line and we place the species like ch2oh oh h oh h h oh and oh h finally we have cho first carbon up to six carbon okay there is a question in this uh, entrance examination how many chiral carbons are present in glucose in open chain structure of glucose how many chiral carbon you know what is mean by uh, chiral or asymmetric carbon chiral carbon is also known as what asymmetric carbon you know carbon valency is four if all the valencies are satisfied by four different group if all the valencies of the carbon are connected by four different group then we can call it as a chiral carbon how it is that a b c d if all groups are all the bonds should be connected to four different group then we can call it as what a chiral carbon or asymmetric carbon let's see you see the first carbon so number one number two three four five six if you observe the first carbon atom on the first carbon atom dear all four bonds are there one two three four but here two bonds are connected to the same element oxygen you see double bond o so it is not chiral all the four bonds should be connected to four different groups here you see this carbon connected to one hydrogen and below a big group and here two bonds are with oxygen so this carbon is said to be what a chiral which mean not chiral what about the second carbon it is carbon connected to oh group right h left one cho group up a very different group down all are different so you can say this is what chiral what about third carbon oh left hydrogen right a different group here a different group here all are different groups therefore we can call it as what chiral if you observe you can say this is also chiral the fifth carbon also chiral what about the last carbon dear student the sixth carbon connected one bond here with a big branch then carbon connected to two same element hydrogen here carbon connected to the same element to hydrogen so is it chiral no all of them should be different so it is said to be a chiral a chiral so we can say in the open chain structure of glucose in glucose how many chiral carbon atom and how many a chiral carbon atom can you say one two there are two a chiral carbon and four chiral carbon clear yes now we can go back to the anomers what are anomers dear student they are the isomers of uh, alpha d uh, sorry the glucose where the forms are alpha d glucose and beta d glucose hope you clear when we can say it is alpha when we can say beta on the first carbon atom if the oh group this student the anomers in which alpha d and beta d if you consider these two structure only one carbon configuration is different 
Yes or no? In these two one, only one carbon configurations are different. Which carbon? The first carbon. If the first carbon OH group right side, alpha. If OH group left side, beta. Correct. So, the first carbon is known as anomeric carbon. Anomeric carbon. So, in this compound, this is the anomeric carbon. Okay, so what is anomeric carbon? The carbon in which the configurations are different in anomers are called anomeric carbon. Clear everyone? Okay, so this is very important to know about the uh, conversion. Okay, now this structure, this ring structure of uh, glucose, alpha D glucose and beta D glucose are also called hemiacetal ring structure. Okay, alpha D glucose and beta D glucose, the ring structure is known as hemiacetal ring structure. Once again, I'm repeating hemiacetal ring structure. Now, there is a question in your uh, biomolecule chapter in your grade 12 chemistry. How we can convert this hemiacetal ring structure of glucose into the Haworth representation? One of the scientists is given a perfect idea about Haworth representation. That's a scientist, Haworth. Haworth representation. Okay, Haworth representation. Haworth is a scientist. He given a another way to explain or to represent the cyclic structure of glucose this alpha d glucose and beta d glucose let me take the alpha d glucose once again dear all of you alpha d glucose structure let me draw once again what is alpha d glucose structure we have below we have ch2oh here we have hydrogen here we have ohh then hoh then ohh on first carbon on first carbon, can you tell me or uh, if it is a alpha D glucose, where is the position of OH group? Right side. Very good. OH right side, H left side. Now they are connecting through which element? First carbon and fifth carbon making connection with which element? Oxygen, right? Yes, this is the bonding. Okay, this is alpha D glucose. Now let me just write here beta D glucose also, okay? Beta D glucose. <coughs> beta d glucose let's draw what about beta d glucose alpha d glucose and beta d glucose only differ in the configuration of first carbon right so all are similar ch2oh h on the first carbon hydrogen right oh left then the connection is through oxygen atom. clear everyone okay perfect now we can go for the Haworth representation of the alpha d glucose and beta d glucose that is called hemiacetal ring structure according to Haworth dear all please look into the ring which is the ring part here in glucose this is the ring right this is the ring so you know one two three four five six so how many carbons are present in the ring in the ring in the ring, you can observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon and 1 oxygen are there. This carbon is outside, correct? Okay. So, they selected uh, when we converting alpha D glucose into the Haworth representation, they selected a compound that is called pyran. What it is called? Pyran. The structure of pyran, let me just draw. This is the one. Pyran. Okay, this ring compound is known as what? Pyran. Why they selected pyran in glucose? Here, in this pyran ring, you can observe, on the ring, you can observe that one oxygen is there and total how many carbon? Total five carbons are there. This is the same situation in glucose, right? One oxygen and five carbon on the ring. You don't worry about the double bond. Okay, here double bond is not required because glucose doesn't contain uh, the double bond in this system. So, they selected pyran ring to the alpha D glucose and beta D glucose. Now, we are going to convert this alpha D and beta D glucose into their pyran ring structure. Let's see how to draw. Let me draw the pyran ring like this. Is it possible? All of you check it. Is it pyran ring? I told you double bond, no need to consider, okay? Oxygen is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, total we have 5 carbon atom. Correct? Yes. Now we can place some bonds. 
These all are bonds, right? These bonds, okay? So oxygen is a it's a carbon, carbon, all are carbon atom, right? Now, dear all, in this uh, cyclic structure, the oxygen atom is that which is the oxygen. This one, this is the oxygen. This oxygen is directly connected to which all carbon atom? Number one and number five. So this oxygen atom, either this number one or the number five, yes or no? So this oxygen is directly connected to number one carbon and number two, car sorry, fifth carbon. So this oxygen also connected to the nearby one or five. Left carbon, all of you, the left carbon, please consider it as the fifth carbon and the right one, you select it as the first carbon. Okay, always. In this structure, the oxygen, the left carbon, you take it as the fifth carbon and the right one, you select it as the first carbon. Now we can arrange the species. Carefully, all of you. Dear all, fifth carbon atom, fifth carbon atom, hydrogen left and CH2OH right or down, right? On the fifth carbon atom, when you're writing, always please remember this method because fifth carbon atom, one rule and all other four carbon atom, other rule. What is the fifth carbon rule? Listen, on the fifth carbon, you can see fifth carbon connected to one hydrogen and one CH2OH group, correct? CH2OH group always write on the top. So we can write here CH2OH and H. Okay, fifth one over. Fourth, third, second, first carbon atom, one rule you can apply. Which group is present on the right side, put it down. Once again, which group is present on the right side, put it down. So here, fourth carbon. So this is C5. So this is C4, C3, C2, C1. On the fourth carbon atom, OH group right side. So I can write OH down, H up. Third carbon atom, hydrogen right side. So hydrogen down, OH up. Second carbon atom OH right side, therefore OH down, hydrogen up. First carbon atom OH right side, so OH down, H right. Clear everyone? This is the have ortho representation. Okay. So the oxygen atom, I told you fifth carbon, please write left side. So fifth carbon, so three, four, three, two, one. On the fifth carbon atom, always the CH2OH group right on the top and hydrogen down. All other four carbon atom, which group is present on the right side, put it down. Clear? Same way you can write uh, beta D glucose also. But there is a small change between alpha D glucose and beta D glucose, right? What is the difference? Only on the first carbon. Alpha D glucose and beta D glucose differ only in the configuration of first carbon. So here is the only one difference. If it is beta D glucose, what is the structure dear all? This OH will be up, H will be down. That's it, right? So let us draw for that. Let's draw for <coughs> beta D glucose. Okay, so first of all, the pyran ring. Then we have the bonds. On the oxygen atom, I told you, take it as the fifth carbon left side, first carbon right side. So this is C2, C3, C4. Fifth carbon atom, same like here we have CH2OH, H. Here we have HOH, right? Then OH, H. Then HOH. On the first carbon atom, only the alpha D glucose and beta D glucose are different. If it is alpha D glucose, the OH group is on right side. Therefore, we put it down. But beta D glucose, the OH group is left side. We have to write up. Right? This is the only difference between uh, alpha D glucose and beta D glucose. Correct. What is the name of this structure? This is alpha D glucose converted to pyran ring. Correct? This is known as alpha D glucopyranose. This ring structure in Havorth representation is known as alpha D glucopyranose. So what you can call for the, this, uh, the beta D form? Beta D glucopyranose. Beta D glucopyranose. Hope you clear how to convert the open chain structure of glucose into the hemiacetal structure which means the ring structure or the alpha form and beta form and from that how you can convert it into Havorth representation. Clear everyone?
Clear everyone? Okay, let's go for fructose. Same procedure. What is the second monosaccharide that is called fructose? You know, fructose also with the same formula C6H12O6. <laughs> right. So let me draw the shape of the molecule. Fructose means same like one vertical line. Do you remember how many horizontal lines we placed in glucose? Four, right? But here three is enough. Okay. In fructose, we need three. So one, two, three. Up to the bottom part is exactly same like glucose. What do you have in glucose? You have CH2OH, OHH. Come on, OHH. Then here, yes, HOH. The first bottom four carbon are exactly same. Only the last two carbons or the first as per numbering, first two carbons are different. Here we have C double bond O. Here we have again CH2OH. So in fructose, up and down are CH2OH. The second carbon is CO group. What is CO group? Ketone. So glucose, when we are explaining, we said it is an aldehyde, right? The first carbon was aldehyde. But here the major functional group is a ketone. So ketone is there, alcohol is there. Ketone is the most priority one. So ketone should get lowest number. So I can start number from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Clear everyone? This is the open chain structure of fructose. Open chain structure of fructose. You know the open chain structure of fructose, if it is there, definitely they can convert it to which form? The cyclic structure. Let us draw the cyclic structure. Do you remember, when we discussing about glucose, which all carbons are interacting to become a, a cyclic structure? First carbon with the fifth carbon, correct? But here, the second carbon is the major group. Second carbon can interact with fifth carbon atom. So we can say C2 and C3. C2 and C5, right? Sorry for that. C2 and C5 carbons are interacting together to become a cyclic structure. All of you come back to glucose. In glucose, we said C1 combined with the C5. Here C1, com C2 combined with C5. Let us draw the figure. Here also you will get two forms. First one. Uh, we have below CH2OH. Okay, CH2OH is there. On the fifth carbon atom, hydrogen is there. Please keep it like that. Fourth carbon atom, OH right, H left. On third carbon atom, hydrogen right, OH left. On the second carbon atom, on the second carbon atom, dear all, second carbon connected to one CH2OH right. Okay, let me write just uh, left side, CH2OH. And the second carbon having this oxygen. What is the need of this oxygen? It is helpful to make the ring right the ring and the fifth group there is what there was an OH group the OH group we should transfer into second carbon atom OH check it all of you once again what happened I'll explain once again same like previous but here the interaction between second carbon with fifth carbon okay so sixth carbon no changes fifth carbon hydrogen only I mentioned fourth and third one same like that Second carbon atom is connected to CH2OH group. I place it left side. You can place it right side also because you will get one more structure. And this oxygen is making a connection by the ring. And this fifth group as usual in the previous case, the fifth group, the OH group transfer into here second carbon in glucose we transfer into first carbon. Okay. So here, what are the number of carbon? Which is the number one carbon in this compound? In this cyclic structure, which is the number one carbon? This is the number one, right? This number one. So here is number one, two, three, four, five, and six. We can draw one more structure for the cyclic structure where the second carbon configurations are different. What we can say below, as usual, we have CH2OH. Here we have H. Here OH, H. Then H, O, H. On this carbon, you can write OH left, this group writes. So CH2OH on the right side, OH left side. And by the way, they are making a oxygen connection. This is one another structure. Where well, the number of carbon atom we can write? Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Clear? So in this compound, the second carbon atom, the OH group is on right side. Therefore, it is called alpha-D fructose. 
alpha d fructose oh it's on the right side is called what alpha 4 so alpha d fructose why it is called d form why is the d form is it d configuration check it all of you how to assign d configuration look into the bottom part of the area this is the area is this the area on this carbon atom you can see oh group on right side therefore d configuration so this is alpha d fructose so what you can call for this form here the second carbon atom oh group left side it is called beta d fructose Clear everyone? So alpha D fructose and beta D fructose are also known as what? Anomers. What are anomers? They have same molecular formula but differ in the configuration of only one carbon atom. Here which configurations are different? On the second carbon atom configurations are different. In glucose, do you remember? In glucose, which carbon configurations are different? First carbon configurations are different. Therefore, the first carbon we call it as anomeric carbon. Here second carbon you can call it as anomeric carbon clear everyone so this structure is called what hemiacetal ring structure we can convert it into the alpha d fructose and beta d fructose we can convert it into the have orth representation let's go for the have orth representation okay so the have orth representation do you remember which ring we selected in the have orth representation of glucose pyran ring right pyran because in the cyclic structure of glucose we have one oxygen and total five carbon on the ring but in fructose let me just draw the shape of uh, alpha d fructose first of all alpha d fructose what is the structure of alpha d fructose we saw uh, one then here we have ch2oh then h then oh h here we have HOH on this carbon OH right side CH2OH left side there is a connection through oxygen atom this is alpha d fructose what about beta d fructose beta d fructose we can draw like this below CH2OH On this carbon beta means OH left CH2OH right. Okay, connection through oxygenate. We can write their have ortho representation. So the answer uh, answer my question. When you converting this alpha and beta form of this uh, fructose, can you consider pyran ring here? Pyran ring contain one oxygen and five carbon on the ring. But here we have one oxygen, one, two, three, four, only four carbon on the ring. So we need one another structure, right? That is called furan ring, furan. What is furan? All of you know that furan means one oxygen. Okay, this is called furan ring, furan, 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 furan. You see one oxygen, total we have one, two, three, four carbon atom, right? This is called what? Furan. So glucose, we are using pyran ring for fructose we are using furan ring clear the reason okay now let's go for the structure furan ring uh, let me draw like the same one here you know double bond is not required now we can place the bonds yes everyone bonds are ready this is the oxygen atom right this is the oxygen this oxygen is connected to, can you number the uh, carbons? This is number 1, number 2, number 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here it is, is number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright. This oxygen is directly connected to which all carbon dear all? Second carbon and fifth carbon, right? Second and fifth carbon. I told you always write the fifth carbon left side. So fifth carbon this one. So fourth one, uh, third one, second one. Clear all? Because the oxygen connected to second carbon and fifth carbon, fifth carbon we wrote left side. On fifth carbon, I told you one specific data. What is the fifth carbon? On fifth carbon, CH2OH is there, hydrogen is there. Always try to write the CH2OH word on the top. Okay, so CH2OH and here we have hydrogen. All other carbon atom, I given you one another idea. What is that? Do you remember? On other carbon atom, which all group present on the right side, put it down. So here OH right side, so OH down, H up. 
here hydrogen right so put it down h o h and in second carbon o h right side so put it o h down and uh, c h 2 o h on the top this is the alpha d form clear what about beta d alpha and beta only differ in the configuration of here second carbon right on the second carbon o h right side alpha on the second carbon o h left side beta so here is the only one difference if you make it opposite it become beta form let me draw for your reference we can draw we can draw the figure okay all are same so this is fifth carbon fourth third second carbon we have ch2oh with hydrogen here we have hoh then ohh then second carbon we have oh up CH2OH down right this is the difference so what is the name we suggested for this have or the representation of glucose do you remember when we converted the alpha D glucose into uh, the have or the representation we called alpha D glucopyranose because it's we used a pyran ring this is called beta D glucopyranose similarly what is the name you can suggest for the alpha D fructose in furan ring we can call it as alpha D fracto come on everyone furanose right furanose we can call it as furanose alpha D fracto furanose what is this beta D exactly beta D not gluco sorry for that which one fructose alpha d fracto furanos alpha d fracto furanos and one more thing we discussed we have to discuss that is in fructose how many chiral and achiral carbon right the fructose structure we said ch2oh h o sorry o h h OH H then H O H right first four carbons are same here we have CO group here we have CH2 OH group this is the open chain structure of fructose how many chiral carbon dear all if you observe this first carbon it is directly connected to, to same element hydrogen I told you if a carbon connected all four bond with the four different group then only it is called chiral or asymmetric carbon here the carbon two valencies are satisfied with the same element hydrogen so it is not chiral it is what called a chiral and this carbon is also which one a chiral because you can observe this carbon two bonds are satisfied with the same element but these all three carbons are chiral dear all all are chiral okay all are chiral why chiral because this carbon connected to oh group hydrogen a different group here a different group here all are different what about this carbon this carbon connected to same element to hydrogen therefore this is also a chiral so in the open chain structure of fructose you can say there are total how many a chiral carbon one two three three a chiral carbon and three chiral carbon atom clear everyone so let me go to glucose once again what is the structure of glucose we said glucose when we made into pyran ring yeah that we got so initially initially in the open chain structure of glucose initially you can easy to understand in glucose initially this carbon is a chiral right this is called anomeric carbon we said initially in glucose in the open chain structure of glucose the first carbon is a chiral why it is a chiral because the carbon two bonds are connected to the same element so it's not chiral means it means a chiral but when the open chain structure converted into the cyclic structure now it's chiral or not now you see dear all the first carbon is connected to hydrogen oh group one oxygen a big branch all are different groups now it is what now this carbon you can call it as what chiral this is also chiral okay so this carbon is chiral now so in the open chain structure of glucose the carbon first carbon is a chiral but when they converted into the cyclic structure which mean alpha and beta form it is chiral 
clear everyone so today in this video we discussed about how can we convert the open chain structure of glucose and fructose first into the alpha and beta form the alpha and beta form is called what hemiacetal ring structure after that we converted into the have or the representation in glucose we used the pyran ring in fructose we used furan ring clear all so if you know the open chain structure of glucose and fructose easy to remember one more thing when glucose open chain structure converted to the cyclic structure which all carbons are interacting first carbon with fifth carbon in fructose which all carbons are interacting second carbon with fifth carbon clear okay so thank you all see the concept once again try to practice by drawing all right by drawing try to recover all the things thank you all we'll meet again with lot of other concepts in the upcoming classes okay bye